yeah students in last class that is two days back we our class was there that time we discussed about the types of memories okay i given on homework also uh, to find the lash uh, that is cache memory for l1 cache l2 cache and l3 cache from the i3 and i5 and i7 uh, processor many of them submitted and uh, uh, those who are not submitted please do it okay I just uh, find it at least so have we got some uh, idea uh, idea about that cache memory have you got some idea while you are searching you got some idea no hello yes sir what idea you got it while you are searching you will you will come to know you may across the that's what i am saying whenever you are searching any topic in especially in computer science just go beyond it okay just not for homer sake don't don't search it okay once you get the answer also you want to find that what does it mean why they are using what is the use of ca uh, cache memory let you can do the extendable search okay that only give you a real knowledge regard uh, in the computer okay that's what i am going to tell uh, upcoming uh, homeworks also just search and get it and uh, write it first you want to understand that not for uh, time uh, note sake or homework sake don't do it you want to do it more than it for learning uh, uh, quest you want to be there you want the uh, a thirst regarding the computer knowledge okay that is i am expecting from you i hope you will do it okay so let me enter into the class the types of memory i already said it is classified into can anyone say that how the classification of memory can anyone say that how the memory is classified hello yeah primary secondary very good primary memory secondary memory primary memory is otherwise called as temporary memory okay secondary memory is called as permanent memory okay permanent then, memory yes then the primary memory again it is classified into five minimum type that is a uh, ram rom register cache okay these are all the class i will show the last slide also you can see this it is again classified into three types register memory that is in the cpu itself cache memory level 1 and level 2 in the cpu itself level 3 if it is goes means for example while you are searching you can get it more than uh, 4g for sorry 4 mb more than 6 mb then it will be in the uh, uh, that is in the it will uh, uh, it will use the ram memory okay that is a primary memory okay so three type of prim primary memory are there that is register cache memory and ram okay rom also another one uh, concept but it is come under the permanent storage okay let me discuss about that okay we discussed uh, in the last class ram and rom basically we discussed and two type of rams we discussed can you say two type of ram last class we discussed what are the thing can anyone say what are the two type of ram what are the two types hello Either you know or don't know. No, sir, but then. Uh... Okay, if you do, that's what I'm expecting. And uh, I think Rajesh and Aditya only, they are answering. The girls are be quiet. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Just to open up. Ram Tilak, you are here and you just answer it. Not only for Ram Tilak, I'm saying, rest of the students also. Okay, Shuri, Srisha, I'm just forcing you. Every day I'm forcing you. <laughs> uh, you just spontaneously, just uh, it is an interaction between us. Okay, so in our class we are uh, discussing. Nothing wrong in it to, to, to share. If it is wrong also, nothing to worry about it. Okay, others will not, others they may think. They won't, this, you are all, the, I mean, these members are your classmates, no? They won't take anything as a wrong. And second thing, if it is wrong also too, for we need to learn means we need to get the shame also nothing wrong in it in this concept i'm saying okay so don't hesitate to ask i mean don't hesitate to answer it even though your answer is right or wrong that is second what you learned just to tell it if it is wrong means let let i will correct you okay so this is right this is wrong this one is the right answer let i will say that okay you will also learn the rest of the students also will learn it okay if it is right means you will get the appreciation nothing wrong in it okay just to speak out that is very important thing if you be quiet means you won't learn anything uh, that will be a big barrier uh, in your life that, will, that that's what i'm saying 
just a speaker come and speak okay right or wrong that is second case will you do it or not hello yes sir yeah. yes sir rajesh is a yes, person rajesh and aditya i really appreciate them because they only whenever i'm asking they are answering for the rest of the students i don't know <laughs> let you also want to answer it okay let you come to the topic the ram is classified into two type of ram one is static ram and dynamic ram okay first of all we discuss about the last class also what is ram it is a temporary memory it will hold the data uh, till the power till it will get the electric power that is the concept okay once the power it lost the power means it will unhold the memory that is unhold the data which it stores okay we have discussed about the booting process also in the last class can you remember that what is booting we discussed can anyone say what is booting if it is in your mind you can say that or else you say that sir no sir i forgot like this you can say nothing wrong in it can you remember that recall that concept no sir i don't know sir okay good no, sir okay booting is a process that is loading the operating no, system from hard disk to that is random access memory ram okay that is from hard disk to ram or else from secondary memory to primary memory this process is called as booting okay that's what i said one example whenever you on your computer either it may be a laptop or desktop whenever you on the computer you can see some black color screen have you noticed that that's what the same question i asked in the last class also if you refer the video you will get it yes sir okay so daily i'm asking that but you are forgetting okay not an issue just don't forget it here after keep it in your mind okay give some space for computer science <laughs> okay so that loading the process loading the operating system from primary that is from secondary memory to primary memory that is from hard disk to ram this is called booting this process is called booting okay that time only once the operating system is loaded into the ram the operating system will start to work that time only you can see windows 10 is loading windows uh, 7 is loading like this you will get an idea have you understand that have you understood have you seen in your computer yes, yeah that time only the desktop the screen will come then afterwards only it will ask to log in it will use the it will ask the password or anything okay pat and our uh, finger fingerprint okay different type of computers i'm saying okay so based on the computer it will last that then once it is logged in then you will see the desktop okay so that time only the completely all the applications also the startup applications will be loaded into the ram okay that is called that is the use of ram that is called as ram memory okay you can see the memory can be accessed from any desired location randomly that is what is the, what is the meaning means it will store all the application application means i am saying software suddenly you want to open one vlc media player or suddenly you want to you open the ms paint or you want to open ms word or pdf any pdf file adobe pdf uh, reader acrobat reader you want to open okay then it will access the memory and it will open it have you understand so random access the ram is a temporary memory or volatile memory it will hold the memory till it having the power that's what i said one example you are opening a ms word or whatever document you are typing it without saving it okay you have typed all the words okay finally you didn't save it suddenly you lost the power the power is gone then what will happen whatever we typed we lost no isn't it correct no hello yes sir yes yes sir what where the operating system that is the operating system is loaded on over the ram and the ms word suppose let me take our example ms word also we open means that is also loaded on over the ram okay then we are typing in the ram memory that is in the primary memory we are typing it okay once we saved means it will ask the location my documents or desktop or c colon d colon like this it will ask it will show the location no where we stored then it will ask the file name no have you saved any word in the even in the mobile also same thing have you saved any document in computer yes sir yeah <laughs> no right. sir oh so far you didn't save any any file in your computer oh my god just to have a practice with not in computer sir and no. mobile i think mobile okay computer i am asking computer have you saved any file ah yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Uh, students yes, uh, if it is possible buy one new laptop or desktop okay 
uh, even though it is a pandemic time it is possible means you buy it there is no force there is no ne- that much necessity is not there but once we started the python that is the second unit it was once we started the python if you are having the computer means it will be best i am saying okay so just uh, i am seeding that better if you have computer means it will be useful definitely in 12th standard you need a computer okay that is necessary but in this year it is optional but in here if you have computer you can do more programming not now whenever we are going to the second chapter i am saying so, sorry second unit okay that what okay let me come to the thing so whenever we are saving a file we need to give the save uh, the file name then we have to click the save button then only what will happen the file will be stored in the hard disk permanently okay so uh, that is in the hard disk it will store it that is in the secondary memory okay till that the file will be in the ram only suddenly the power gone means what will happen whatever we typed even a number of letters number of pages you typed it will be wasted it will be gone okay that's what the random access memory is a temporary memory or volatile memory that we discussed in the last class can you recall it can you able to recall last class we discussed the same thing can you able to recall yes sir yeah fine Uh, okay that's what we discuss it is a volatile oh, sorry this is a one minute one minute yeah it is a volatile memory and lost its content content means the data when the power is switched off or interrupted okay then the ram is classified into two types one is uh, ra- dynamic ram another one is static ram let me see the next one you can see dynamic ram means it is called as d ram static ram is called as s ram what is the difference between the dynamic ram and uh, static ram means dynamic ram is cost wise it is very less okay but static ram is little bit expensive okay then major difference cost wise it is okay but what is the major difference means dynamic ram it will be even though the power con- uh, power supply is continually continuing in the computer for example you on the computer you get the power okay that is the uh, electricity is there you getting the power even though it will lose the content often okay that is in the one second in the one second it lose it the content again it will re- regain it okay likewise it will continually it will do it have you understand that what is uh, what i am coming to tell can you understand my point yes, sir yes sir it will lose the data again it will load it for example if you are typing in ms word it will lost again again immediately it will get back it also okay the refreshing rate that's what i'm saying the refreshing rate is more in the dynamic ram but static ram it will be more expensive then what will happen once it got the power it will store all the data in it okay it won't lose it till it get the power get off okay once it lost the power then only it will unhold the memory but dynamic memory the so dynamic ram is not like the dynamic the, from the word itself we can understand dynamic what the dynamic means what immediate or sudden that is called dynamic dynamic means sudden okay immediately it will lose the power it will get back it even though the power conti- supply is continuous now in our laptop or in our desktop we are using this type of ram what type of ram dynamic ram only dynamic ram yeah whenever you are uh, now you can also search for a laptop okay if you are starting you are uh, to buy plan for your laptop means or else if you are already having also not an issue at least go with a search okay whenever you are having the free time you can see ddr1 ddr2 now we are using ddr4 ram okay what is ddr sir sir as means double data rate i already said double data rate that is the full form for ddr okay ddr ram is a dynamic ram double data rate that is, it will be the data rate means the the set of instructions that is the, the execution of the thing will be more okay that is called we are saying dynamic ram only we are using in our computers okay that's what a cpu the, it will refresh the operation takes several cpu cycles several cpu cycles means in nanosecond many times it will lose it and again it will get it that's what i'm said that okay the static ram is little expensive compared to the dynamic ram it is faster than dynamic ram okay Uh, where we are the, we are using the static ram means in uh, mainframe computers or any 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 in laboratories labs okay in computer labs or medical lab they are using such type of uh, things they are using the static ram okay for example in me- medical equipments are there no for example in hospitals and all they are using computer for uh, connecting with the ecg machines 
all the machines they are using for example x ray x ray or ct scan or mri scan so they are using such a, such type of computers no have you seen it in your hosp- uh, that is in hospitals yes. yeah so yes, that, sir. there they are using the static ram it is very expensive okay not very expensive it is expensive then compared to the dynamic ram okay the computer itself different one no it is not for our ca- common use okay that's it that is a specifically the computer was meant for more the processing speed is more and the data capacity that is a uh, storage capacity also more ram also more space that is okay one minute let me go to the next one you can see the differentiation between the dynamic ram and static ram okay so it is the dynamic ram made up of capacitors and ic's that is a memory bit in memory in capacitor and in an ic that is totally it will be an ic integrated chip i already shown on diagram ic okay uh, and but static ram is made up of semiconductor memory okay they are using flip flop here they are using capacitors okay it is faster and consume low power but here it consumes more power than static ram it is little bit slower okay compared to static ram okay it is expensive it is not that much okay they are using six transistors in static ram here it is one transistor and one cap- uh, capacitor per bit okay per bit means for example the clock cycle based on the clock cycle it will be there dynamic ram okay just we have the overall overall uh, knowledge means that is enough okay then let me go into the rom rom full form can anyone say what is rom full form for rom read only memory only memory. memory from the name itself you can understand read only memory once it is written means that's all it is fixed one it is a, it's come under the uh, category of permanent storage for example in phone and all in our phone mobile phone we are using that have you searched rom 16 gb rom 32 gb that is our what that is our internal memory isn't it have you yes sir yeah for example yes, that android os and all for example not only android os if whatever os ios or whatever thing in our phone the operating system is stored in the rom only that is uh, read only memory itself we cannot do any changes okay manually we cannot do any changes from using the machine we can change it that is different one okay that we, we will see this it is a non volatile memory i already said volatile means the word meaning is disappear or it will be erased non volatile means it will not be erased it is a permanent okay that's what okay that's what they given the explanation it is not lost even the power supply is gone for example whenever you switch off your mobile okay you switch off your mobile for a long day even it may be a one month or one year whatever not an issue whenever you put in charge again you switch it on it whether the mobile will get on no correct it will get on or not sir Uh, yeah that time you can see the booting process will happen can you say what is booting again i said just now also what is booting the uh, secondary memory into primary memory the good what we are doing operating system we are loading the operating system that is operating a very important one okay whenever you switch it on it now also not now after the meeting after the class you can try it okay whenever you switch off your mobile again while you are running it will take some time to on it first it will display it will black color screen will come after that what will happen for example if you are using what mobile that mobile name i mean the mobile company name and version something it will display have you seen it samsung means samsung it will show the model name if you are using vivo or whatever redmi it will show the such a brand name have you seen that yes sir yeah that process is called after a minute only you can see the apps not immediately you it will take a minute at least one minute or half a minute isn't it to uh, mobile to get switched on okay all the apps to be loaded okay then app will be get loaded that is called process called from rom to because rom is a, a permanent memory no it will store the data permanently okay that's what i'm saying okay it is a permanent memory storage space in mobile i'm saying okay so from rom to it will be the operating system and all the applications what are all the application we installed in our uh, mobile it will be loaded into the ram okay then you can see ram size may be in your mobile uh, have you have you know do you know the ram size of your mobile can you say that what's your ram in your mobile no sir i don't know you don't know oh my god anybody know 4 sir 4 gb 4 so, rams 
yeah of course uh, so 4 gb ram is there for example whenever you are checking the ram space it will not be actually 4 gb free 2 gb only it will shows or else uh, free 3. gb on that is a uh, 2 gb or 1.5 gb like this only it will shows what are the use of the 2 gb means the operating system that is a uh, which operating system you are using android means android or whatever thing that will be occupy that and what are the apps that is application we installed in our mobile that will occupy the ram memory okay then if it is 4 gb means it will be better due to uh, it will be that much fast only for example if you are going for extreme game extreme graphics game means that will not be suitable it will be get mobile will get hang okay if it is i am saying more extreme games means if you are saying simple games at all we can do it more than one process you can know you can note down that the uh, phone will be little bit hang because of the ram capacity is less mean if it is ram is more means the mobile won't hang whatever high end games also we can yeah. able to play in our mobile okay so that is a what i what i coming to tell that is the importance of uh, ram that is random access memory let me come to the topic rom okay so i i already said that the rom is uh, rom is a uh, permanent memory it will store the for example in mobile the operating systems everything is stored in the rom applications and all stored in the installed in the rom only okay but in computer it is different rom is what is it may be a 16 gb 32 gb no nowadays only it is 128 gb is all coming okay but in the computer means we need to store in the hard disk now the new technology is implemented not new after before 5 years onwards it was there ssd can anyone know the full form for ssd s s d no sir solid state no sir yeah, that is the full form is solid state drive it is an alternate for the hard disk hdd hard disk drive hdd means that is our hard disk okay have you seen hard disk have you seen hard disk sir okay okay so you are not seen i already sent one picture also in our whatsapp group refer it yes sir Perhaps just google it you will get it okay you will easily get it okay if people want to be more in computer okay i think <laughs> i'm so sorry to say this because you to that also you don't know but you want to learn it it's not your mistake now you want to learn because now you are a computer science student no that's what i'm saying okay so then the loading the operating system the i mean the, sorry in computer the operating system stores in the sdd that is S, sorry ssd or hdd okay either in hard disk or solid state drive okay that will be the operating system and the softwares we installed in our computer that will be stores okay let me go to the thing let me see the classification of rom okay types of rom one minute okay first one is prom that is programmable read only memory okay once that is the prom only we are using in our mobile once it is programmed means that we are installing we are i mean they are installed in the motherboard in the mobile and they are using it in computer for example in desktop or laptop and all they are using only the prom okay so all it they are using the prom that is programmed programmable uh, read only memory in computer what did stores sir in, you said that mobile is storing the operating system and apps but computer what is the use of rom sir means if you are asking means very simple it will store the what is the what uh, what is the processor name and how much uh, what is the quality of the processor what is the speed of the speed and uh, uh, frequency of the processor and ram how much support the system can support for ram okay that is 2 gb ram or we can extendable up to 4 gb so whatever things and how much uh, uh, amount of uh, hard disk it will sub- support okay for example if you are using the old system means suppose you are connect with the 1 tb hard disk means it won't support okay because it is meant for that technology now it is a new technology no so that's what it won't support for certain apps even some software also to okay so that basic details and all stored in the rom in computer okay that's what i'm saying that is in the p rom you have to note uh, note down these things programmable read only memory the types of rom okay and next one is ep rom electrically programmable read only memory ep rom means electrically programmable read only memory this things and all they are using in our mobiles p rom i already said it is in use in the computer and ep rom ep rom and e square p rom also next to the topic is there that i will say, tell them this type of p rom that is ep rom also we are using in our mobile for example how i can say this means i will tell one example for you hello are you all hearing yes sir yes sir 
okay uh, let i want to tell one thing uh, i forgot to say this if i am going speedy means you just please ask it okay sir uh, you are going too speedy sir just reduce your uh, speed or i cannot uh, come with you can say it okay nothing wrong it and you didn't understand the concept also sir i didn't understand the concept sir can you reteach me i will definitely able to do it okay i am teaching for not for sake okay i am teaching to you only dear student that's what if you have any doubt or anything if you want to say you can tell in a open platform i won't take anything as a wrong okay i will take everything in a positive way only shall i expect the comment from you if anything yes sir yeah please yes that's sir what. because i am teaching for you only children that's what i am asking you for example i completed this but you didn't understand what is the outcome what is the use to conducting the such type of classes see your parents are taking a big initiative and school has take a very big initiative to conducting the online classes you are spending the data and mobile everything you are doing a, your parents are sacrificing a more no so what is the output at least you want to learn the content no what is the concept in the first chapter you want to learn for that only we are conducting no you didn't learn uh, one sir came he is blabbering something he is going very speedy or something if it is means there is no use of it that's what i'm saying okay wherever i want to sir little bit slow means i will come to forward okay that's what i'm expecting if you are uh, interacting with me means it will be very, very lively okay that's what yeah somebody said something okay shall okay, i shall I yeah okay pa let me go it again the ep room that is the erasable program room we are using in our mobile that is for example not nowadays mobile the previous uh, contents uh, initial of the smartphones basic smartphones samsung or some some, some type of uh, smartphones we are used no so that type of smartphone they are used the ep room for example if you forgot the uh, pattern for example if you put the pattern suppose you forgot the password what we will do it can you say suppose you forgot the password or pin or whatever we are using what you will do reset ah uh, that is for that also you need to open no without this is it possible to reset the mobile i have very strong doubt yes sir How it will you? ask the colors colors sir i didn't get it uh, your point yeah can you say that or uh, boys you are well versed in this topic no can you say that? not only boys everyone even girls sir. are okay. yes please what you will do sir, for, for uh, reset long press the both power button and the uh, Yeah, yeah, yes, continue, man. Continue. Correct. Explain it. For please. reset, long press the boot, hmm. power button, and the uh, sound hmm. volume button, sir. Ah, uh, volume up or volume down is based on the uh, what is the company of the mobile also, no? Correct. So what will happen? That is a very good. Uh, yeah, very good. Uh, said. Who said that? Prasant. Oh, Prasant. Okay, okay. Oh, you are here. Okay. okay pa prasant and sudan my appreciation to you very good so whenever we are resetting what is actually happening means it will erase the content what it for example once you reset what will happen once again you open the phone i mean whenever you boot the phone what are the changes you might notice refresh refresh means fast as it, yeah yeah as it is in the first whenever you buy a mobile that time what are the content what are the apps are there or what are the contents are there that only will be there your whatsapp your facebook or your instagram everything will be wiped out have you noticed yes sir like, no for example whatever you stored in the phone memory that is a ram and as well as sorry rom whatever you stored whatever you installed app everything will be gone so that is called erasable programmable memory that's what i'm saying erasable programmable read only sir read only memory that is called ep rom we are using in our computer sorry in our mobiles okay whenever we are doing we are electrically we need the charge no that's what i'm saying okay we can erase that and once again we can load it so previous content which we stored in the rom that will be erased not the basic not os will not be erased okay if os is erased means what will happen once once again we try to on it it won't on, it won't on we can only see the black screen okay so sometimes you can get the error also some uh, 
sometimes your, your phone phone is hanged or some uh, uh, updation some software crash is there means it only show the black color screen at even though you have pressed the switch on button it won't get on have you gone through that experience have you noticed or uh, have you faced no sir okay sometimes yes, sir. it is i mean for example nowadays it is not for example in olden days the completely the phone will switch off even though you put the charge or anything it won't be there so that time what will happen they are taking to the mobile shop or any mobile shop or any mobile repair centers uh, they are taking it then they are using on computer by using the some specified device or even in the usb they are again reload the os they will put in a new os fresh os okay into that mobile okay that is also it is possible in the ep room okay uh, students it is uh, less than 1 minute is there uh, the uh, the session will be goes to end again you rejoin it this by clicking the same link again you can rejoin it very easily okay our class is still 10 uh, sorry 11 10 you please rejoin it whenever there comes it uh, session is over means okay you can read this sentence and ep rom is an erasable programmable read only memory it stores the ep roms can be erased exploring that uv lights what is uv okay that part we discussed in the last session also that is uv we discussed what is uv do you know the full form for uv ultraviolet very good i love ultraviolet rays okay by using the ultraviolet rays we can clear i mean we can erase the content which we stored in the room okay that's what what are the data we stored whatsapp we installed means all those data and all it will be erased whenever we are doing the research that is as you said okay okay that's what how to remove we using the uv also we can remove the ic and there is a from chip from the motherboard okay that is another one let me go to the next slide one minute okay then and next one is e e p r o m that is e square p r o m for short form we can say that e square p r o m that is electrically erasable programmable read only memory that is the full form for e e p r o m that is e e p r o m okay electrically erasable programmable read only memory okay then you can see the chip can be erased and reprogram reprogrammed we can able to reprogram it and the board easily by bytes by bytes okay nowadays we are using the electrically erasable programmable read only memory in our phone have you ever update your phone have you done update android version from marshmallow to for lolly from lollipop to marshmallow or some other os to os marshmallow to noglet and noglet to pi have you have you done it okay. have you seen oh my god okay you can check that for example if you go to the settings you can find the i think about software something is different to phone to phone okay so about software update software is there whenever you are you just check it you want to check it also okay in your parent phone or let you check okay the the company may give the new os okay so we need to update it what will happen the previous os will be erased and the new os will be installed into in our what is thing in our mobile okay so which os i mean which type of rom it is possible sir if you are asking me this e square p rom that is electrically erasable programmable read only memory okay now nowadays if you are using the latest smartphone means latest means the past 5 years if your smartphone if you are bought means that will be the latest i'm saying okay the past past decade also not i have i'm not sure but past 5 years we can say we are using that mobile technology e square p rom that is electrically erasable programmable read only memory okay this chip can be erasable and reprogrammed we can erase one operating system we can install the from the mobile itself we can download the update have you seen it or not you are not seen i am not talking about the google updates play store we can update the app that is different one i am talking about the operating system itself anyone done it in your phone so anyone done it no sir no oh my god okay today at least you check it okay if you have the data at last evening or night you can check it we go to the settings and you can see the software settings and likewise about software update software is there okay so if you click that means you can if you are having the latest software means okay it will check and it will tell that you are it is already updated updated or up to date likewise one message will come 
if it is not means it will show that you can update it like this it will show that the, that thing also okay okay oh is it uh, my voice is not audible to you hello audible sir ah audible sir okay good let me go to the next thing and that's what we are coming to tell there is a limit on the number of times e, that is e, e square p room that is e e p r room can be programmable usually around 10000 times we can reprogram it that's what i'm saying okay how many times this is one of the important point how many times the we can erase we can reprogram it means 10000 times we can write the data we can erase the data like this we can do the operations but it's more okay we are not using that much of a time uh, a timing for the same mobile we are often change no that's what okay let me go to the next slide and the flash memory these are all the types of uh, rom what are the types of rom we have seen can you say what are the types of rom we have seen hello p rom hmm. yes p rom uh, e rom e p rom very good e square e, e square p rom yeah that is the e three types we have e seen first is programmable read only memory that is p rom and next one is electrically sir erasable programmable read only memory that is e rom sir e p rom and last one is what e square p rom or as e e p r o m that is electrically erasable programmable read only memory there are three type of roms are there okay now we are going into the flash memory flash memory it is a what type of memory means it is a, a secondary storage device okay flash cards we can use we are storing the uh, i mean uh, pen drives and all we are using no pen drives these are all come under the flash memory okay this is electrically erasable and programmable permanent type of memory it can use on transistor memory all the resultant high package density that is what is the thing let i will simplify it for you simplify for you what is the thing the memory card or we are using some uh, memory sd cards we are using the uh, sd cards in our mobile or memory cards in your uh, digital cameras are using the cards no that is memory cards or mp3 players okay ipod and all we are using the memory card no that type of cards or even um, pen drive we are using the pen drive no these are all come under the flash memory have you understand pen drives memory cards and all flash memory yes, that's what we are saying is a flash drive sometimes we are referring the pen drive as a flash drive no for the, what is the meaning what is the reason for that means it is a come under the classification of flash memory okay what is the meaning of flash means immediately we can store into a device and we can carry out it very easily am i right pen drive we can store whatever nowadays it's 120 even 512 gb pen drive is available isn't it 512 gb pen drive is available that is a is a mini hard disk okay so that much of memory we can store it okay we can just simply carrying in our packet we can go see have you seen uh, sd card in your mobile how much it is small that have you seen or seen it or not yes, <laughs> okay that is, no who didn't so far seen the memory card is anybody didn't see the memory card so far no sir okay no means uh, in which way have to take you didn't see or all are seen see sir see okay. sir so already uh, yeah i think you already sir. know that scene okay fine that is very small size have you seen it there is a memory card it is a, what is the capacity maybe 1 gb from start from 1 gb to nowadays we are using 4 gb 8 gb 16 gb 32 gb memory card 64 gb memory card have we are using no so that much of uh, memory it's a very small size okay that's called it is a flash memory we can quickly we can store into the memory we can erase also that is we can once we we no need the file means we can delete that file also too. okay that is the type of called as flash memory and let me go to the next topic uh, cache memory already know that you got some idea about that okay it is a temporary memory and moreover uh, it is referred as a high speed memory okay made up of high speed static rams okay not only static ram in dynamic ram also they are using it they are using the in the processor in the mobile processor or sometimes for than more than 4 4 mb if you are using the cache memory means you done in your homework 3 mb to 4 mb 4 mb and above 6 mb means l3 cache 
that is called l3 cache okay the l3 cache and all they occupying the ram uh, ram capacity that is from the ram memory space it will occupy cache memory is okay what is the use of the cache memory means if you want to do a more process for example if you are doing a program or you are storing a uh, one file to another file such type of things we are using the cache memory okay it will hold the data for temporarily then it will rename it that is used in the cpu that, that's what you can see that we know the processing speed of cpu is much more than the main main, main memory that is called as we are using in cpu itself the cache memory is there some of the processor it will be extended up to the ram that is the thing okay that's what i what i said it is there okay let me go to the next slide also one minute that's we discuss l1 cache level 1 cache level 2 cache okay actually two types are there but actually it is three types l1 l2 and even l3 cache also there okay next next we going into the secondary memory that is permanent memory okay so we go ahead so secondary memory is called as permanent memory it won't be delete until we delete it okay once we stored any file it will be stored permanently what are the things are there you can see floppy disk can you re recall the floppy disk image i have i have shown to you one of the class have you seen that floppy disk hello are you hearing no sir, sir. you are not hearing I'm asking, are you hearing? Hearing. Okay, very funny people. <laughs> okay, floppy disk, hard disk. Hard disk, USB drives. That is USB drive means what? Again, it's come under the pen drives and all. Okay, CD, DVD. These are all come under the secondary storage device. Let me see that again. One minute. Hard disk. This is the internal part of the hard disk. Okay. So, let me explain it very deeply. One minute. This is the structure of hard disk. Okay. So all the data, you can see the circular, uh, spherical uh, shape on circle is, the circle is there. No, this is the memory path or the memory location. Okay. You can see the read and write head. The head only, that is the one, likewise, a very tiny uh, point is there. Okay. In that point, through the laser, that is a, through the light, UV light, or sometimes they are using the laser light also. Maximum, they are using the UV light in the hard disk. Through the light, they are reading the reading means we are uh, get the data from the computer. R write means we are writing, we are storing the content. Storing the content in our computer or hard disk is called as write. Read means what is the thing? Accessing the data is called as read. For example, you stored one file by giving the file name, you are storing it. That is called read. Uh, sorry, that is called write process. Writing process. Okay. Read process means after you stored once again after two days or after some times you open the file and for reading purpose you are seeing the file whether the name is there you want to refer the document okay once you refer again you close it okay that is called read have you understood what is read and write have you understood yes sir okay yes, sir. So, okay, so will the, it will store the data will be stored in any one 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 sector one one circle is there no you can see the first circle not this middle one over at one circle is there no i'm showing the pointer that is called likewise the second one and the third one that is called as sectors okay uh, sorry that is called as track okay the circle is called as track first track second track third track likewise okay then you can see the one you can see the selected one it is uh, pointed already you can see it is divided into bifurcated into the small small parts can you able to see this i'm showing the pointer also too that is called sector. Yes, sector means a part of the track is called sector. The entire uh, circle, for our understanding purpose, I'm saying that is called track. Like with many tracks are there, many sectors are there. It is not visible that much closely. It is there because hard disk size is what minimum two. That is nowadays I'm saying two fifty GB onwards. It is starting nowadays. We are using one TB hard disk, two TB hard disk and all. Okay, refer students hard disk, RAM, ROM, this thing and all. Refer in internet. Okay, and get more details, then you can understand the basic. Okay, so whenever we are storing and writing, this type of operation is happening in the hard disk. One minute. Yeah, this is already I said that. So now we are using the terabytes, GB, that is gigabytes to terabytes, we are using it. And next, the optical disk. I already used the word on optical. Okay, have you recall it? The optical disk are CDs or DVDs. 
okay that be one minute optical disc the cds or dvd compact disc full form for dvd can you see this digital versatile disc not video disc actual format is digital versatile disc okay versatile means we can either we can store video or audio whatever thing okay there is no necessity for that you can you can store your uh, files also to digital versatile disc that is the full form for dvd cd means compact disc this and all you know that what is the size of cd can you say anyone say have you used the cd and dvd before yes sir okay yes, what sir. is the yeah what is the capacity of cd what is the capacity storage capacity i am asking what is the storage capacity of cd have you seen cd means it is 700 mb 700 megabyte only dvd means 4.7 gb okay today if you are having a, a that is cd or dvd in your home you can just uh, take and insert in your computer and you can check it okay or else just google it for understanding it in this dvd itself or else buy one empty dvd from shop now what it is not possible after some time so what is possible means just buy one uh, cd or dvd you can see that okay let me go to the next point okay that we are using to store the softwares or data whatever data music image video whatever type of data we can store into the cd nowadays we are not uh, maximum using cds or dvd instead of what we are using instead of cd or dvd what we are using our pen drive pen drive okay so maximum the dvd size is what 4.7 gb okay in the 4.7 gb we can store maximum 4, 4 gb data is it is it so like we, but we are using the pen drive the pen drive is far better very easy to ca carry it but cd or dvd some problem are there suppose we are keeping in the rough places means once it is scratched it means what will happen we cannot retrieve the data we cannot use again yeah, of course we cannot use the, use the cd or dvd that is the problem okay once the crashes is happening means and moreover the size is more bigger than the uh, what is the thing pen, pen drive. drive okay yeah now pen drive is what very compactable very very handy very in the not even the half of the finger or quarter of our finger size it is there very small size it is there okay so we, but memory size also more even if it is 8 gb pen drive or 16 gb pen drive or 128 gb pen drive also it is the same size only size is very small but the capacity is more that is in the storage capacity as well as the reading and writing speed is more compared to cd or dvd for cd and dvd we need a cd player or dvd player either in the computer isn't it we need a drive we need to open we need to insert the cd then it will take a little time to load it but pen drive is not like that just by using the usb we can insert it and we can uh, we can immediately we can use it we can easily write we can delete and we can see the file here, uh, file also which we stored in the file all the operations are very easy in the pen drive but not likewise in the cd or dvd can you uh, what is the full form for usb can you say usb full form hello usb full form what is the full form do you know universal serial bus okay universal serial bus that is the full form for usb okay students it's i think time up uh, i took the two minutes extra <laughs> okay okay students uh, have you understand that the uh, types of memory rom we discussed types of rom we discussed yes, and uh, yes, secondary memory we discussed flash memory optical disk hard disk we discussed in next class we will discuss the rest of the topic very easy uh, see you to all have a nice day thank you sir thank, thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir. thank you sir thank you